so you'd like to learn a bit more about Baja Design Zone 3. This is the driving combo zone and your primary and most important zone in almost every application. This is the core zone that you will build your lighting package around and will determine how your other zones should be tuned. This is especially true if you're new to high-performance off-road lighting. At Baja Designs, we believe in the three fundamental attributes that make each zone shine. Placement, power, and pattern. Placement being where your lights are mounted, power being how bright relative to your other zones, and pattern being the lens choice that shapes that light correctly. The placement of lights in Zone 3 is typically towards the center of the vehicle, either on the bumper or in the grill. In general, we suggest that 80% of your lighting package stays below the hood line for the best results. In terms of power, this is the one occasion where we believe you can go nuts, but only if you balance this relative to your other zones. Zone 3 should be significantly brighter than Zones 1 and 2, but as we will discuss in the spot distance zones, you will want to ensure your Zone 3 lights don't wash out your spotlights. And finally, pattern. Our driving combo pattern is perfect for Zone 3, as this pattern incorporates both a wide and a spot element all into one lens. As a quick summary, Zone 3 is the most critical zone, and you'll base the power of other lights in your lighting package off of it. Keep it centered on the bumper or grill, and use of the driving combo lens pattern is ideal. We hope this zone overview helps illuminate key facts about our lighting system, and we hope to see you out on the trails.